In 2017, an engineer decided to take a leap of faith and resign from his high-paying job in Shell to open Nasi Ayam Mafia in Bandabaru Salak Tinggi. Growing up, working part-time in his family, own a restaurant alongside his parents, Nick Johari Nikmat always had the passion for opening his own business running through his veins. Nick Johari ventured into F&B line by opening a coffee stall at first with only one worker with him. He then added more items on the menu and managed to open four other stalls in all the span of one month. Although I grew up in a Thai restaurant setting and atmosphere, I knew it was not going to be easy to formulate a similar SOP and maintain its consistency, said Nick Johari in an exclusive interview with Business Today. When choosing the type of food we wanted to serve, I was looking for a dish that was easy to cook, so that our staff on duty could easily follow the recipe and work magic. A plus point is that nasi ayam is something enjoyed by all races and ages. Fortunately, the demand for our nasi ayam mafia increased by three times during pandemic. In the beginning, the orders we received were completely out of hand. We were not able to accommodate them but we quickly redesigned the cafe infrastructure to accommodate the large amount of orders and thankfully we were able to get back on track very quickly to sustain the business, said Nick Johari.